from the hundreds where a frog got it fucking jumping. I'm from the hundreds where K Dog was a fucking dog. Wait, I'm from the hundreds where a pops got it fucking popping. I'm from the hundreds where a fool was a fucking fool. Wait, I'm from the hundreds, Rose Moore, Roseland, West Pool, man. Man, I'm from the hundreds, so you know how we do it. Man, we run shit, man, I'm straight from the hundreds. Yo, what's, what's up, up my G? Hey, what's good, man? How you doing, bro? Man, I'm chilling, chilling. How you feeling? Man, everything positive. I ain't got nothing negative to say. You feel me? Yes, Real sir. Talk. You already know that's the business right there, man. Let's get, uh, get all the way into it real quick, man. Go ahead and let the platform know who you are, bro. So you know already. Man, for everybody who don't know, man, they call me Bodie and BD Mix, a.k.a. Mr. FBG Engineer. Also known as FBG Cash Engineer. Nah, I engineer damn near everybody, but they're my brothers though. That's the that's the brand, FBG the brand. Hey, that would it do. I mean, how did you even become uh how you get linked up with FBG? Was you yeah, always I knew, FBG? Nah, I knew I, I knew Duck. I knew Duck and I always knew I always knew like I always knew Cash, but like as far as like as of recently, like when we really, really locked in, man, me and Cash locked in probably like December, early December, right before Christmas type shit. And we just, we knew we had a vision of what we was going to do and we just took off with it. Hey, that would it do. So, do, did you know uh, FBG? Uh, well, I mean, you know, JoJo, and not JoJo, uh, Lil J? No, I don't know Lil J. You know Lil J. Okay, so I you came. Him, after. I don't know. I, I I know of him. I don't know him personally. He like, he actually just shot a video on my little, with my homie Isaiah. Like they 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 know each other type shit, but I ain't never run into him. E okay, that would it do. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just to take us back, you know, when was you know where you get your start at? Well, you know where where you first of all where you come from? Like what? I'm, what part of Chicago? I'm from, what I'm from the north. I'm from the northwest side of Chicago. I'm from the Belmont Craigan area. E okay, so you you already know, you know what I'm saying? So like, where did you get your? Start? Nah, 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 nah. I'm not from the pole. Hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. Now there's there's a difference. The North Pole, the North Pole, like they that's up north, north. That's, mm. that's going towards that's going towards the lake. I'm from the northwest side. Like we still north, but we like north of the west side of Chicago. So we technically still the west side, but it's north of it, going towards the north side. E, that what it do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So hey, I mean, when you get your start in the music, and you always do it, did it run in your family or you Man, know? My, co my cousin's a rap. My cousin Ar Luden, like he a rapper. Like him and his people was always rapping. So I was always, I was always following them around and watching what they do. But I took a, I decided to take up music. Man, it was. And my homie Days had a studio. We just randomly went in there. It was just all some random shit, and I just liked the song. And I, I mean, you know what? I'm just do the music. So easy. That's real. Like, that would do. So when did you realize that you actually had a talent? Like you actually could make some money. Like you actually was good at it. When Do or Die came to my door and said they wanted me to come start doing work with them, and they not they wanted me to sign. I I signed with Paul House Entertainment, which is um below of Do or Die's label. Mm. I, ended signing, I ended up signing with them and doing tours with them, and that's when I knew like I right, I got to keep this shit going. And then, like, I want to say, what, like, 2013, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try something different. I went out to Florida for a minute. And when I went out to Florida, when I went out to Florida, you know, it was cool. I met a lot of connects. But I linked up with Pastor Troy out there. And when I linked up with Pastor Troy, like, that right there, when he was like, man, I like your sound. Like, bro, me and Broke kicked it. We was at a club kicking it. It was one of his shows. And I just, I did an opening show. And when me and him talked it out, we kicked it. He gave me his number. I ended up going to Atlanta and linking up with him. I was coming back on my way back to Chicago and I ended up staying in Atlanta. And that's where I really like picked up all my engineering. Like, and mm. this is cold. Like, this is where it's at. Like, fuck rapping. Like, I always was a rapper, but engineering, like, that's where I realized the real fun part of the shit. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to stay. I'm engineering. 
Gee, that what it do, you know, and you know, you've been successful in it, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, you've been rocking out with a lot of different artists throughout Chicago. Yeah. I see somebody, yeah, I see somebody uh saying, Why aren't you doing uh, bro, that man, a bro, don't even pay no attention to that man a troll. We he, he okay. like he like one of those little kids that we trying to ignore right now because he just keep talking for no reason. So we're not gonna pay it's, that man no mind. Okay. That uh, what it do. But nah, that what it do. It, it's shit. I've engineered a, a lot of people. I've engineered Lufo, YBN, The Mirror, Juice World, motherfucking Do or Die, Crucial Conflict, Pastor Troy, motherfucking man, Loso Loaded. I've I've done work with a lot of motherfuckers. So Jeremiah, shout out my boy Jeremiah. You feel mm. me? Like I started going crazy with bro, like. But this past couple months, it was like take off. Like that was the light to the end of the. You you know how we get those big fireworks shows? That was the wick to that motherfucker for it to start up, and now it's starting to like kick off the right way. So I feel like I feel like it's going. It, it's decent. That's real. That definitely real. I mean, so out of everybody that you, you know, you didn't work with, who was the most complicated person you work with and who was the most easiest person you can work with? Man, that's a hard one. That's a hard that that's a good one. That's a good one because it's not always that it's necessarily hard. It's difficult when I wanna say, because you know, when you have an engineer, you gotta have chemistry with your engineer. It's not like it's not like going in there and everybody gonna have the same outlook on everything. Like you gotta have a real chemistry with your engineer. So I wanna say the most difficult I had to work with are the rappers that don't know how to rap and think that we're supposed to make them be rappers. Mm. I can't even say it's one person. The best person that I have worked with musically where it's been no no issues we we have the same we have the same type of lingo we all know what to do with me and cash but i also want to say my homie jeremiah too like jeremiah and Merv Dilly working with them it was always it started off difficult but by the end of the song we all realized okay this is what happened when we all could put ourselves in the situation to make this shit sound good and everybody's opinion came to the right Conclusion. So, yeah, I can say that it's kind of hard. To, it's kind of hard to pick and choose with, with shit like that because you know you're always gonna have di different experiences. That's real. That's definitely real. I mean, uh, when you first started off, how did your your hood, you know, uh, support you? Did they support you or what? Hell no. No, a couple of the home, a couple of my homies did, but no, nah, not really. Like. Mm -hmm. Because you know, I don't wasn't I wasn't doing drill rap and shit like that. I like I like doing songs for the females. Like I do auto tune music. I just now started jumping into the drill scene type shit. So it's like me doing the drill music that I'm doing now is not what I'm used to. I'm just I've always said like anybody who like anybody who knows me knows me, my family. I, I always say I'm just an engineer that knows how to rap. Mm, that's real. I think about cat. What you gonna say? No, I, I said I started rapping hard like this now because of a conversation I had with Dutchy, with FBG Dutchy and Ruby when we was in LA, and that made me like go crazy. Now, now when me and Cash did the song, like it was like now it's time to go crazy, but it's not. It's not a custom that I'm used to. I like doing music that, that people can relate to. That's real. That's real. I mean, can you, you know, you don't have to go all the way into, you know, all the details, but can you just give, a, you know, the fans just a little bit of the conversation or what, what the conversation was, was about? I always, I always told Cash, I always told Cash that I wanted to stop rapping and focus on their music. I wanted to focus. I wanted to focus on making sure that FBG's music was as best as the ability that it could be. And when I said that, Dutchie told me I was tweaking. Young was like, mm. oh, you, got, "You got good music, folks. You tripping?" Cash told me, "Folks, yo, had dumb as hell. Just you got to have a good media run. When you start pushing a media run, 
then you start pushing the song, start pushing out singles. Like, but I always thought, man, whatever. Like, but when we went to LA, we all had the conversation again. And Ruga said, bro, you tweaking. Are you tweaking hard as hell? If you're doing the music and you can engineer, bro, you tweaking. Do that shit. Do all of it. And Dutchie's like, I told his ass, bro. Like, I just keep selling Bodine, bro. Do it all. Stop fucking tweaking, bro. Do it all. So I was like, mm. you know what? When we got back, and when we got back, it was like, you know what? Cool. Let's jump into this, and we're gonna keep yeah. we're gonna keep the ball rolling. I mean, that's because you know, uh, Kanye. You know, he didn't just start off, you know, being known as a rapper. You know, he was a producer and things of that nature. Then he jumped into, you know, the rap uh, side things of it. So, you know, you can you can do it all. You know, that's what it's about. You know, uh, utilizing your talent. You know what I'm saying? Like, putting it out there. But let me ask you this, though. You know, like, how did it feel? Or I don't even want to go into how it made you feel. But, you know, where was you with you know when Cash passed away, returning back to the ass. I was at home. I was at home sleep. I woke up to my mama calling me. I woke up to my people's calling me. My my my, my right hand my right hand man Puff. The first thing the first thing they don't don't get up and go turn on the news. Just call us when you get come pull up. Jump out. I mean, what the fuck y'all talking about? Of course you can't tell me not to do nothing like that. I go look on the news. I was like, damn this. Hell no, nah, what the fuck? This this can't even be right. I call everybody. And as soon as I got a hold as soon as I got a hold of young and young confirmed it, like I ain't gonna lie, like I broke down, bro. Like I that hurt. Like I ain't broke down like that since I lost my grandma. You feel me? Like that was my, that was my right hand man. Like Cash was my dog. Anything like if I could have called Cash for anything. You feel me? I could have called cat. I could have called cash for anything. If he got it, he was gonna make sure I was good. Even if it was just a motherfucking Uber from my crib to somewhere else, cash was gonna make sure I was straight. And to lose to lose a person that just that just showed you everything that like bro, I've like I said, I've engineered famous people, fo. I've I've engineered famous motherfuckers that had opportunities to help me get to where I could have been, but just wanting my engineering or just wanting me to be around at their time and use they use me whenever they wanted to like never did what cash did for me bro cash, mm. cash put me in a position to where not only are people paying attention and knowing okay that's bodine behind his music they're looking at my music around like damn you've been rapping this whole time like yeah which mm. I, I, i'm like man bro and it that's it's fucked up because my daughter had to see that, and my daughter was my daughter just seen Cash, just had a whole conversation with Cash, had a whole conversation with her because she my my daughter was in trouble, and one thing Cash gonna do, he gonna check on the kid. I told mm -hmm. her her little, her little goofy ass doing goofy shit. Cash man, hold on for I'm gonna holler at him. Man, what the fuck is your own? Why you out? You feel me? Guys? What you what you tweaking for? Like, you know what your dad be doing trying to make like. It was one of them, so my that shit affected not only me, but it affected my kids. My wife was, you know, my wife's used to Cash being there. My wife, once Cash comes, she knows, all right, these niggas in that room until 4, right. 4 in the morning. I ain't even going to bother their ass. Or they'll be so, come early as hell, and we in that room all day. Yeah. So, I mean, so you've been going viral right now, you know what I'm saying, because you've been all on old block. Riding through old block, you know, taking pictures by uh, King Von Mural and doing oh, yeah, all. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take another one. You gonna take another one? Yeah, I feel like I feel like the angle that I took that last one wasn't good enough. So I, I feel like I was I was told to go back and do it again. So I'm gonna go do it again. You was told by who? Uh, Money Duke and DQ. They was like, man, do that shit again. I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna do it again, but I'm probably gonna, you know, I'm probably gonna do it a little bit better this time. But I, I'm saying, if they saying do it like, if they they saying being sarcastic, do it, or they saying do it because they know you showing love to Vaughn. Oh, I, I'm not showing love to Vaughn because there's no love for Vaughn. Like he he at where he at. But as far as them calling me and telling me to do it, like I don't, I don't know, folks. So like you know what? Why not do it? So y'all telling me y'all y'all in y'all giving me an invitation. I'm gonna why not do it? Yeah, but you know. I'm saying, sound like it's some smoke behind that. If you want, 
I don't know. If you ain't going to the mural know. to... If you ain't going to the mural to pay respects, you know what I'm saying? Anything other than respect, you know, if you ain't showing that respect, you're showing disrespect. So I guess they tell me, like, pull up, you know what I'm saying? Take another uh -huh. picture. But, you know, the whole thing is this. This is my thing to you. Let me ask you this, though. You know what I'm saying? Is it is it that, you know, when Cash died and you were so cool with him and that's your bro, your right-hand man, that you inherited his beef? Is it like when he died, you like, man, I'm going to turn up for my nigga. I'm sliding. This is what it is. That was, going on, that, was, that, was going on before, that was going on before Cash passed. It just wasn't to the extent. Mm. We, wasn't, we wasn't worried about him. Like that was that, mm. was that was not a, that was nothing to worry about. There was no reason for me to have to go. I had other I had other things going on. Now I have a little bit more free time, so it's like why not? Yeah, that I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you you from the city, and you know what time, you know what I'm saying. Niggas be on, you know, it's real in the field at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, I see you got a kid. I, I know you say you got a wife. You know, all I'm going to ask you is, is it worth it, though? Is it worth it? Because anybody can what, get smoked. What you mean? Motherfucker get their ass smoked and they ain't right. Is it worth it? it? What, what, what you mean is what worth it? I'm saying at the end of the day, because, you know, some people say you trolling. You know, like you going over there by, you know, buying, buying mural, and you, you know, you playing with fire. You know what I'm oh, saying? Not the first time, ain't no, nobody the really had no. The first time I did this, cause shoebox told me do it, so I'm like, why not go do it? Oh, shoebox baby told you to slide over there. Yeah, him and Gino told me to slide over there. They, they, I guess they weren't happy about the studio situation. We were supposed to talk about it, and they wasn't out there. So I just like, you know, let me take a picture. Let y'all know I'm here. Yeah, we're supposed, I mean, to, we're, know, we're supposed to. We're supposed to. We're supposed to meet up. We're supposed to meet up at the AutoZone right there. Right. I mean, do you? I mean, like you said, before you even made, before you met Cash, before you started doing drill music, you were doing some whole other type of music. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you ever? Uh, yeah. Do you ever? You know. Think like, damn, I'm in a whole different, you know, situation now. You know, like, niggas, when you were making the other music, niggas ain't trying to, you know, take your head off, bro. I didn't really care about people paying attention. Like, wasn't nobody really paying attention. Now people want to voice opinions or have something to say. And, like, so. So uh, everybody got something to say. Mm. I, I believe I have, a, I, have a, I have a right to speak back. Right, and then you a stone too, so you know it's like a stone and you right, you a stone riding for a GD. You know, yeah. do the stones back you up, like your hood back you up for doing that shit. Yeah, my hood, my hood backs me up because I don't bring none of my problems to my hood. None of my, none of my beefs and none of my mm. shit. One thing I don't do is if I got a personal issue, I don't bring it to the hood. I don't have my hood come. Or if they want to come ride with me, that's that's on them. I appreciate the, I appreciate the love and loyalty, but. I take care of shit on my own. I ain't taking no chance of a motherfucker snitching on me for no reason. If I got an issue, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go address the shit myself. I don't. And, and the most the motherfuckers see me with is my security because I gotta have security when I go to events. I can't just go out and kick it like I want to no more. I gotta at least have two of my two of my security with me. You feel me? So mm. as far as that, so like I don't be worried. That, about, I, I, I ain't worried about nobody. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta stay, you know, cautious and stay on point. Your man's cash just got whacked. You know what I'm saying? And if he can get whacked, and that's your right hand man, a motherfucker take your ass down too and smoke your ass like a pack of squares too. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be mindful of that. Yeah, and don't take things for granted. And no, you know, you know, niggas ain't playing. At the end of the day, you know that can happen to cash. That can happen to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but I, I, real, know, bro. I know how, I know how to move. You know, I know how, I, I'm moving different. Like, I, you feel me? When shit like that, when shit like that goes on, it shows you. It shows you a way of how you need to 
move around. It makes you it makes you think about shit differently. So you know how you move a little bit different. I'm not out here. I'm not out here just sloppy and hey. moving reckless. I know what I'm doing. All right. Hey. So what happened with you punching up dude or some shit? I seen some. That was like you've been going viral, dude. Like some nigga, some motherfucker. You punched up some nigga, and he said something like, "How did you was at a party or some shit?" Yeah, I was at a I was at a Lollapalooza after party, and dude wasn't just a oh, regular shit. Fan. Like. Dude was a fan, don't get me wrong. Dude was dude was a mm-hmm. fan. But me and him had a personal issue. And he thought he could hide behind his peoples and wasn't nothing gonna happen. So like him and his girl thought they were slick. Like they know who I am and they know what I do. So they were weed vendors. I'm not gonna put that shit on blast, but they weed vendors. And they thought it was cute to play Vons, we not from sixty third. And people in the party already looked at them crazy too. Like, what the fuck is y'all doing? Like, I came in there with my security. So they wanted to keep playing crazy. Dude wanted to play crazy, keep acting like he thought he was going to be protected because he had security walking him out. So as soon as they thought that shit was sweet and it was, I moved in and I gave his ass, everybody said I gave his ass a three punch combo and kicked his ass in his shit and walked away. E, e, yeah, I, I guess there's no, uh, zero tolerance. No, you ain't accepting no disrespect when it comes down to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not at all. That, that's real. Hey, let me, hey, let me ask you this. And I, you know, I'm from the hood. I'm from the South Side. Wow, well, honey, 10 Troy all day. You feel me? But I, 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 you know, so I'm, I'm going to ask you this. Oh, uh, yeah, where you bet it? Where you be at in the hundreds, bro? And I'm not going to put my location, but I'll be out there, bro. I'll be out there. I got I got a couple studios that go out there. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That, I told you, that's my hood. So, you talking about that little studio right off the alley and shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You already know. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my mom. Yeah, those the bros. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you already know. So, you know, uh, my question was, just being like, because she real... Is you is you willing to you know is you actually willing to laugh with him? Man, that's I ain't gonna let nobody. I ain't gonna let nobody disrespect. I ain't gonna let nobody disrespect my brother. If that's what it comes down to, that's what it comes down to. There ain't nobody gonna talk crazy in front of me, face to face. Hmm. Hey, that's real shit right there. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you going you know what I'm saying? Stand on that. And you gonna live and die by those principles. But what about your kids and your family, though? What about them? What about it? Like my my people's prepared for anything I, that goes down. I'm saying they know, that, they know that. My people, I, my people's is fully aware and prepared for anything that would have happened because they know the life I live. Do I value and love my wife and my kids? Of course. Mm. Of course, but that don't that I got to I got to keep doing what I'm doing in the field I'm in is a little bit dangerous at the moment. The rap game ain't the same. Mm. So, hey, that's that's true. But you and, know, and, and you I'm ain't a, from and I'm, no, a pagan, uh, and, I'm a pagan, and I'm a pagan by religion, and I stand to fight for we 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 believe in and die for the cause as long as our peoples are straight yet any by any means necessary. I die with honor and leave a legacy. Mm. So, would you want your legacy to be a uh, boding, good uh, engineer? Now, I, I mean, I'm just gonna keep it real. Motherfuckers would be like in the hood. Niggas be like, uh, boding. Motherfuckers be like, boding legacy was you died for cash, and God, and God forbid. Yeah, well, I don't even want to say God forbid because I don't even deal with no. You know, motherfuckers be like, that's dude who died for cash. They motherfuckers would get it to his ass because he out here talking out. And see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not a lot of people, I'm telling you, I'm not just saying it, but the nah, bro. That's y'all. That's how the that's go ahead, how go ahead. People, That's how the people are taking it, bro. This ain't nothing like that. This is all in response to everything that's been going on. Every time somebody make a diss, somebody want to do mm-hmm. spinning that shit. Yo, I'm following up right behind you. Stop playing with us. 
while my brother, while my mm, brothers, are that's real. Still He's through, while my while my brothers are still going through whatever grieving or mourning, whatever they're going through, I'm gonna be right there in the forefront, make sure that that, that FBG in general, rather if it's Duck or it's Tuka or it's Cash, anybody who got a name behind that, my whole my whole end game was in this was to keep that name alive, keep that sound and that shit mm. going because you, I'm I'm a defender of the underdogs. I'm always going to root for the underdogs because the underdogs are always going to be the hidden history behind the, behind the real shit that actually made greatness. Hey, thanks. 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 I agree. I agree that they was the underdogs to a point in time. I know motherfucking uh, Doug, you know, rest in peace. Folks, he took off, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, everybody been doing that thing, you know, cash. Cash was taking off. He was doing this thing. He was, you know, rock, uh, fucking with rap a lot Midwest, fucking with, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, bro was doing this thing. Shit. And in fact, uh, did you uh, ever see his new crib? You know, he did move. Where he moved? He moved down to Georgia. He moved down here to Georgia. Oh, he moved to uh, Texas, right? Uh, some shit like that. That man had a couple cribs. Yeah. So did it make it harder for you? Right. So did it make it harder for y'all to uh work together because he be out of town? Was you hell, traveling hell, with him? Hell no, nah, because yeah, I travel with him, but it like if he really if he really wants me, then he really needs me that he put me on a flight to go. Like we was on that type of time. Like like actually that that weekend that cash was coming that cash was coming up here, I was gonna go back to Houston with him. I was gonna kick it. That's mm -hmm. why I was. That's what you feel me. Like there, was, man. There was a lot of shit going on. Like cash opened a lot of doors for me, and it fucking sucks, bro. That I got to do a lot of this shit without him. But I'm glad I still got the support of, of Young and Dutchy, uh, especially Young. And it's just like, it's all love, and it's just wild, bro. Like, cause I ain't, I ain't see none of this shit coming. I ain't see none of this shit coming. But the only thing I could do was like, bro. One thing Cash always wanted me to do, he always wanted me to get a media run. He always told me, bro, once you get that media run, just keep going. Keep going. Unfortunately, I got a, a media mm. run. It's not in the best of lights, but it's something. It, it, it's some. Right. It's some, and people are paying attention, and people are actually like, I don't let nobody get to know me. But it's about that time that the people who hear my sound and know the songs I've recorded, hear the music behind it, and they hear my music, no, okay, damn. So this is not who Bodine really is. So now Bodine, now people actually got a backstory. People really know the shit I come from because I don't tell nobody where I'm from. I move around. You feel me? My second home is Atlanta. So it's like I I, I try not to do that. Mm. I think it was only right that I start letting the people in a little bit more, so it gives them more of a reason to understand the sound and the songs behind it. That's real, and that what it do. When you down here in the G state, down here in Georgia, boy, slide on. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I'll be out there. I'll be out there. I'll be out there. A three C weekend. Okay, bet. You know what I'm saying? We'll link up. You know what I'm saying? At the yeah. end of the day, it's all love, bro. You know, so, on, be, so what? I mean, East, so what? I'll be out of East Atlanta kicking it, bro. So we definitely will. Okay, hey, that what it do. Hey, so let me ask you this. If you you seeing Cash was your right hand man, you know did he feel the same way about you? Was he yeah. was he feeling like uh, you his right hand man? Man, Dutchy Dutchy was his right hand man, but I I was definitely a go to. He he definitely at any time. Hey Bo, what's your own? nothing? I'm coming. I'm for the slot. Hey Bo, you got anything you doing? Wifey wifey in the crib? Yeah, come on, pull up with me real quick. Like we was on that type of time, but at the same time, like that Cash. Yeah, I hear you. Cash, yeah, cash. cash I move cash move fast and because I got a family and I do got the kids, I couldn't always move on certain things that he wanted to do. So if I could go, I could go. If I can't, fuck it, you know, go ahead, gang. I got you just whenever you pull up studios right here. Like Cash considered this his studio the way he worked in here. 
Like that's just that's just how it really mm. was. Like Cash considered this home home studio to him. Like he pull up eleven o'clock in the morning, pull up at eleven o'clock at night. He, he just it was on that type of time. I ain't never told him no. That's real. So I mean, did you go to his funeral? I did, but I made it late because I was coming in from out of town. But I did, mm. yeah, I did, I did mm. link up, I did link up with his pops and young. After the fact, like, I still talk, I still talk to Manny. Like Manny, that's my boy. So yeah. But yeah, no, nah, that's, I, I that's drive, real. You know, you know, I had to drive six hours back into Chicago. So by the time I did that and dropped my wife and my daughter off at the crib and drive to where they was at, I got there for like the last five minutes. Hmm. That hey, you know, as long as you uh, show some type of respect, you know, did you get a obituary? Man, nah, I don't. I don't keep those. I don't keep those because I don't want those. I don't have that last memory like that. I want. I want to be able to remember the good times and the smiles and the laughs and the arguments. You feel me? Like even the little shit. Like mm. one thing I always, one thing that I always told Cash, nigga, we rather good or bad terms. It's for L. And his shit all the time on phone now. That was his response every time. That's real. That's real shit. Well, you definitely, you know, uh, representing them, holding them down, you know what I'm saying, standing on what you're standing on. What you got uh, playing in the future on the music side? Man, right now, I just I just got a little deal. I got a deal that I just signed, so I'm about to drop the King of the Underdogs tape. And then I'll be working on a promo tour. On top of that, I'll be um, – I'll be coming out to Atlanta for A3C, and I'm uh, I'm working on some with with my homie out in Houston with Rap a Lot Mob Ties. Okay, that would it do. Shout out uh, Rap a Lot, uh, Midwest and, and Mob Ties. We all family. It's all hey, shout out my homie that Rap a Lot Midwest. Hey man, for y'all that don't know, y'all can go look. Me and Eat Dog got a song out. On one of my latest tapes, I dropped it a few months ago, man. It's called uh, um, called Big Drip, featuring my homie Ink Dog from Rap Lot Midwest. I hear effects. Shout out Ink Dog. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Free that boy Corey got yeah, Ben and uh, Pack Migo, boy. Real talk. Straight yeah, up. Man. But yeah, yeah, man. You know, with that being said, man. Hey, real talk. All right, with that being said, man. You know, uh, what's your creative process like? You know what I'm saying? When you go in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you create? What's your process? What, Whatever, like, it, it's one of those, it's one of those, I'll explain it. It's one of those, You. it's a vibe. Like, it's once the beat catches in its hook, it's, all right, come on, put it on. But normally, it's the, man, it's, about an hour of us kicking it, a lot of, a lot of munchies, and then yeah, it's just it, it's crazy, bro. I want it. I don't even know. I can't even explain my my creative process because I don't even think I really got one. I think it's just one of those. It just happened to happen. Right. Okay. Like some freestyle, like you when you hit a beat, you kicking it. You know what I'm saying? And then you ready? You just go off top and just write some stuff and. Uh, like that, okay. More spontaneous. You ain't got no. I don't even. Write, yeah, I don't even write my music. Now, if you ever listen to any of my songs, e. I've never not. I, I can't write. I got ADHD. I can't focus long enough. I'll start writing two sentences in and be like, "Oh, let me think about mm -hmm. it." Like that type of shit. So okay. it's like, it, yeah. I really got. I really got to feel and connect to the beat to be able to keep going off of it. Mm. Hey, real talk. Hey, that what it is. So you know, uh, before we go shut it down, you know what I'm saying. What's some uh things you want your fans to know? You know what I'm saying that you know they might not know about you. You know what I'm saying. Some misconceptions because you know I we didn't clear it up. You know a couple of them. You know what I'm saying. But you know what's some some things you want to you know just clear up. You know what I'm saying before you know uh, we go ahead and shut it down, bro. Man, look, I don't be caring about nobody else's opinions. The, the, you can't win with the internet, folks. Like, 
you just can't. The internet, there's too many opinions out there, so I'd rather just not pay attention to them. I'm not feeding into the trolling no more. Motherfuckers want to know how to get up with me. Motherfuckers know how to get up with me. I'm not hard to find, and I love pulling up. Like, I love that shit. So don't ever get it twisted. If a motherfucker really got smoked, it's really an issue. I pull up. I get busy. I do what it do. But really, I'm just trying to kick it. I'm just I'm just trying to get this music out the way, bro. We That shit for the birds. Like, that shit really, really for the birds, bro. But it was like, I don't care. If a nigga got an issue, it's an issue. But if it's not, leave it on the internet. Leave it right there. But I'm done responding. I'm done feeding into the bullshit. I'm done talking about it. I'm done acting out on it. Motherfucker just got rich on accident, folks. So it's like, I don't... I ain't trying to even deal with the fuck this shit no more. When, when my ops can got as much money as me, then we can talk. Until then, I got to worry about ops that do got as much money as me. Mm. Hey, I mean, oh, man, bro. You said something. I mean, if you can't give bros just the insight, you know what I'm saying, on how you made that guap. Because I, you know, I deal with a lot of uh, I just produce a, a lot of uh, art. Yeah, I just got I got a. I just oh, got you got little, the deal? Yeah, I just got a I just got a little deal, and I got two I got two more that I'm working on right now. And that's because of cash. Uh, it it he definitely he definitely helped a lot, but at once it's one of those situations that you could once you walk a motherfucker to the door. You got to do that shit on your own, and that's one thing Cash Cash put me in the dough, but it was on me to keep it going. He can't he can't make everything happen for me, but he definitely made he made it he made it work for me. He opened the dough for me. Hey, that what it do? We got Wooski up in here too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Wooski. What it do? Wooski, you already know it's off. Real talk. Hey, link up with Flaco Santana TV too. Uh, Wooski, let's get it, G Bar. You already know. Straight up. Hey, look. So you know, uh, you ain't got no uh artists that you want to work with. You know, in the future, there's so many artists in Chicago throughout the country. Is there any artists specifically that you want to work with? Yeah, it's a it's a pop it's a uh, a pop rock artist right now. His name's Luck City. Dude, dope as hell. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a song with him. Um, I just did a song with Fat A. I just did a song with Fat A. Ruger's artist J H E I. I just did a song with him. Y'all can go check it out right now. It's called Dropbox. Dropbox Part Two yeah. featuring featuring yeah. Fat A and F B G Young. It's gonna be dropping soon. Um, now this I, I definitely I definitely want to try to get, I definitely want to try to work something out with Ruger, but you know that's one of those when the time comes the time comes. Um. But really, if I really, really could ask for a good future, I would go with Scissor. Mm. Yeah, I, mm. I like I like to do a song with Scissor. I like I like I like her style of music. Like that's that's the music I fucks with. That, that music that makes you feel some type of way. You feel me? Like that's that's really what I fucks with. So if I could if I could do any feature right now on a bigger scale, I'd go for Scissor. Hey, that, hey, that what it do. You know, hey, the fans want to know uh, what you think about TW six two. Who's that? Hey, he say who is that? Okay, hey, you know uh, that what it is. You know, uh, you know. Hey, so at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, bro? It's been a. Uh... <laughs> hey, you fans, wow, damn. Hey, but uh, you know, yeah. It's been a, a pleasure to have you on the platform, bro. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you coming right, on, bro. We're going to link up when you slide down here to the A. Hey, it's all love, bro. When you come down to, uh, you know, to the A, bro, we're going to link up. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And we're going to chop it up. And uh, do it in man, the Man, shout out my homie. Yeah, shout bro. Out my homie so stay popular. Yeah, shout out my homie Shorty G from the A, man. The most, the most oh, fly puppet yeah. I know. I'm sorry. That's my dog. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, yeah. That was definitely one of the guys right there doing major things in the puppet world. You feel me? Real man, talk. Was, like, straight up. I can't even. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's doing. No, nah, I appreciate. I Real appreciate talk. You, so, I appreciate you, game, man. 
anytime you need another one, man, we we do a part two. You just let me know. But we did, as a matter of fact, we'll do a part two when I come down to the A. Hey, real talk. You already know we're going to get cracking. You know, but I do, you know, look, I just, you know, certain things I had to ask you because shit be real. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you know what I'm saying? I know you're a family man and you got, you know, uh, kids and things of that nature. And I, I got to ask real logical and real shit. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's just real shit. You know, niggas got to think, niggas got to think about that shit. Y'all in these streets, motherfuckers talking about all this drill, drill, trap, trap, all this extra ass shit. Niggas got to think about it, you know. Niggas be getting whacked and shit, you know. Motherfuckers do it be worth it, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of niggas, motherfuckers probably change their ways. I know what I signed up for. I know what I signed up for, and I stand on every. You go watch it. I I stand on this FPG shit. Like, I'm going to stand. I'm going to make sure the name is on. Make sure my brothers is always, always is okay. So... Hey, that's real shit. Hey, and look, and niggas, and real niggas respect real shit, my dude. And if a nigga's gonna stand on business, gonna stand on something, be 100 about that shit. And that's what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? The, the good, the bad, the ugly, you rocking out. And that's the business at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no folding in this shit. Motherfuckers stand the 10 toes down. If you're gonna rock out, you rocking out. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You know, till next time, G. Motherfucker, it's all love, bro. Everybody go subscribe to Flacco Santana TV on YouTube. Go to Flacco Santana TV on, on YouTube. Both my channels. Go to one, go to two. Shout out Bodine. Hey, Mo, man, we're going to link up, Joe. Man, let's get it, man. Long live Top G. Cash out to Crash out.